guys, my name is Ben, and welcome back to episode 45 of your bucket plugging tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at populators and block populators in world generation, which I said we do. So we're going to do that. Sorry if my keyboard's a little loud, I got a new keyboard. Um, so that's why it's loud, if it's loud at all, which has a sticky thing which I haven't taken off yet. Yeah, okay, I'll take that off. So what you have to do is, here you see get different populators, you just want to remove that to wherever it's inside of there. And actually up here we want to type uh, list and then we want to do the little crocodiles and type block populator. Uh, block populator. We're going to call this populators. Um, and it's going to be equal to a new array list. Uh, and in there it's going to be block populators. Uh, pop populator. And then that like that. So we have this array list. Um, and in our constructor we want to do populators um, dot add and we want to add a new populator which we're going to make and we're going to call this new tree uh, genera generator like that so make sure that tree generator uh, and here we just want to return the populators like that and if we make this tree generator class so create class tree generator finish Close all of this, change world to world, change random to random, and change chunk to chunk. Okay, now what this populate thing does is whenever a whenever the generate block sections and generate x block sections gets called, it's going to call this populate a method which is going to, you know, populate the world. So what we want to do is if we want to make a tree populator, we just want to make a few variables um, first. So we want to get the chunk x, so int chunk or cx equals chunk dot get x multiplied by 16 because we want to sort of actually get the chunk x value and not just the x value of that chunk, if that makes sense. Um, and then int uh, cz and that's going to be equal to chunk dot get z multiplied by 16 as well. So once you've done that, we want to get our chunk offset. So int cz off, so that's our chunk z offset. And that's going to be equal to cz plus random, so random, random, random dot next int. And we're going to do 10. So what it's going to do is it's going to offset where our tree is going to be. And then you want to do the same here, so cx, cx, okay? So we have our chunk uh, value and the offset of the chunk that we want to have. Um, actually, hmm, no, we want to have this as being one, we want that, we don't, int, int, we want int, int that, and we just want it to be random not next in 10. We don't actually want to have it adding the, the chunk x or chunk y. So what we want to do is we want to spawn a tree, you know, randomly. So to do this, what we want to do is we want to do world dot generate tree at the a new location, uh, which is going to be at um, cx, uh, cx offset, cx off, uh, and we want to do, what do we, we do? Uh, and then we want to do world dot get highest block at um, highest y block at um, new location or no highest block at c x off so c x offset um, and at c uh, z offset like that um, and then we want c z uh, offset. And then we want to put the tree type, so let's actually just import location, uh, and we want to do dot get y uh, dot get sorry dot get highest block at next location world. We need to put world at the start of this, sorry, like that. And then we've got to put the tree type. So if we want a random sort of tree type thing, so if we want sometimes for it to be, you know, a certain type of tree, and sorry about that. 
and if we, sometimes if we want it to be like a normal tree and sometimes it, for it to be a bigger tree or say we want certain trees in certain biomes um, we can do that so to do that we do random dot next boolean now it's going to turn true or false so we want to check if it's true so what we do there now is we put a question mark so is it true and if it is true then we're going to do we're going to return tree type uh, tree type dot tree so which we're going to return a normal tree now otherwise which is going to be a colon we just do tree type um, tree type dot big tree so we're going to have a 50 50 split between big trees and normal trees um, now what we want to actually do as well is check what biome the chunk's in so if chunk dot get biome oh, sorry <laughs> world dot get biome at the chunk um, chunk et, uh, c x off and c z off so if the biome is equal to if we press control space so if it's equal to swamp swampland then we want to do world dot generate tree um, at this location so if we just copy this location and then we want to make a tree type dot uh, swamp swamp like that so we want to check as well say else if the world dot get biome so if we just copy all of this um, so if the world ooh, that was in the wrong place and that was random no class if the world dot get biome is equal to the biome which is going to be a jungle or and then copy all of this again paste that here uh, jungle hills then we want to generate a jungle jungle tree like that and then again we can just put an else statement here and otherwise if it's in any other biome we're just going to generate a normal tree so if we hover over here and put uh, let's press warnings um, because we are actually uh, not using these values so we don't actually need these values um, yeah we do yeah we do this needs to be CX plus sorry I, I did do it wrong and CZ plus because actually else we're going to be getting a random number so if we export this if you file export next let's call this youtube.jar I'll see you in the game. Okay, so as you can see, I just uh, teleported to this world, so game mode one. You'll see that we have lots of trees around, and we have sort of a 50 50 split between these normal trees and these big trees. So, yeah. Uh, what's happening here is actually a tree is spawning in, in every single chunk. Um, so, we're going to have lots and lots of trees, and as you can see, as you go into the jungle, we're going to have jungle trees. Now, I don't really want this many trees particularly, there's, there's quite a lot of trees here. So the way we can actually fix this problem is if we go into um, back into Eclipse and I want to stop the server and destroy it. We want to do if uh, random next int um, 100 so we want to get 0 to 100 and we want to check if that is less than 20 so we're going to have a 20% chance of a tree spawning and if I actually just uh, export this and if I start the server up again one minute and as we can see now as I regenerate the world there's actually a lot less trees um, around me when they generate it checks to see if this random number is less than 20 um, and if it is then it will generate a tree and as you can see there's sort of a split and if we actually go into the swamp biome you'll see this generating swamp trees like we told it to and this tree here isn't actually in the swamp area so it's not gonna be swamp tree because the block it's on is actually one outside of the uh, or two outside of the swamp biome but um, half the trees like the color of the swamp tree so it's not actually a swamp tree um, and if we find a jungle biome which there are normally quite a lot of if we go over here it loads and obviously you know they're not always going to spawn 
I don't know why there's been such a massive area there. Maybe it's just a. Uh, maybe oh I know why. That's because I I generated this before. I only just restarted it. But yeah, there will be in the jungle biomes there'll be less trees and well there won't be less trees. There'll be different types of trees and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, next episode, just comment down below on what you want to see. Um, so yeah, hope this helped people. Oh, jungle biome, jungle biome. Hope you'll see. There we go, jungle trees like that. Cool. Thanks for watching. Can't wait you want to see next time. And I'll see you guys next time.